Bang! Needs Knives, I'm Jared, and here we have possibly the nicest OTF I have felt under $100. The SOS, and this is right at $100, but I, I'm, I'm so surprised how good this thing is. This thing is, like, really, really good. Normally with, like... OTFs that are, you know, $100 or less, like, there's some okay ones, like, lightning and stuff, but this thing just feels like it's on another level. The handle is definitely aluminum. It has a good amount of weight to it, which is another thing I appreciate, and we're actually going to pull up a $400 OTF here in one second to compare it to. The button is ramped up so nicely, and it's got the nice teeth and jimping on it that it is, it's very easy. You can do it with the back of your thumb. I kind of like doing it like that, but you can do it with the front as well. You could do it with, you can pull it back with the pointer. You can probably push, eh. Ah, it's still got a strong spring. But the, the drop point blade is a beautiful drop point blade in D2 steel. Nice satin finish. And, you know, for the $100 mark, I'm not mad at D2. D2 is just fine for this price, especially considering, you know, considering, you know, that it's on an OTF. You know, D2 holds an edge really good. Um, it, it's just not the most corrosion resistant. So you're going to want to make sure it's dry before you pop it back in here. So that's going to be the biggest factor is just make sure it's nice and dry, you know, because D2 can corrode. Um, but the, the clip, you know, it does kind of look a little bit like an afterthought, the clip. The clip's not the best clip. I do think that you could easily take it off and bend it however you want. It does seem like that type of clip. But the knife itself, though, man, you know, ergonomic, really, really ergonomic because it has a thickness and the jimping replaced in the right spot. You know, you just, it's got, like, when I squeeze it, uh, it's very comfortable. I feel zero hot spot. I feel like I could bear down on something. I feel like I could poke it into something very easily. So, um, it, it has a rattle and tap, just like all OTFs. And before we pull up the $400 knife, this one actually has three different blade shapes. I think it's three, three or four different blade shapes. So there is a couple different options if you want a dagger or a different blade shape. I forget all the blade shapes they have. But this is the Microtech Hera. And it is a $420 something dollar OTF. Really nice. Obviously, this is a premium OTF here, right? Um, and it actually has a clip that actually works well with a ceramic ball. There's very few that I've ever experienced that had the ceramic ball that worked well. And because it's so long, it doesn't have like a ton of tension. It actually works really, really good. If they were all like this, I would love ceramic ball clips. But since they're usually really bad, um, I'm usually not a fan. But this one's great. The button on this, Microtech button, lots of jimping, very, very um, grippy and snaps out there with authority nice firing very clean break microtech does an incredible job but it's 427 dollars you expect them to do an incredible job this has the same amount of rattle and tap that you can that this hundred dollar one has the action is very similar you know, the $427 Microtech, yeah, it's a little bit cleaner. But that also could be because it's a spear point blade, which just feels clean coming out. Look at them blood grooves. This is a beautiful OTF. Damn good job. Ooh, that edge is real nice, too. This one's got the serrations on one side and then the edge on the other, so it is double edge. But there is two plain side edges, too. So if you don't like the serrations, they have ones without. Uh, I think the serrations are kind of cool because you have this edge to do any type of cutting and then this edge to do, you know, something if you need to tear through something, which is good to have. Um, again, this one is, they have, they're basically the same size or very similar sized. So the ergonomics are, are very good. I would say that this one's a little bit more comfortable. I, I would honestly say that. Um, and it's mostly because it's just a little bit girthier. And you see how this one has the handle that kind of swells. I'm not saying this is uncomfortable because this is still nice and comfortable. This one's just a little bit more comfortable and it doesn't have the clip like this one does that you feel. But both of them are comfortable. Let's just say that. Both of them are comfortable. Anyways, 
awesome, awesome knives. I will link them down in the description to Blade Ops. Blade Ops is a new affiliate for us. So if you guys want to check out anything from Blade Ops, I will link Blade Ops down in the description. If you want to check these out or anything from their description or any details that I didn't mention, um, just check out the link down in the description. Guys, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, peace.